Just uh, outside, just after the fire ceremony. Uh, something that we were uh, doing last night. So walking through the field of candles here. This is the honeycomb calcite there. We're just having a little walk in the dark in the largely dark. And we'll sit by the fire. Just taking a little walk. Could be fun for you if they stumble in the dark. There's another, another candle here. It probably won't come out on the camera, but there's just like a nice field of different candles here. There's a altar here. I have a candle lit in this altar. Sweat Lodge. If it's altar, won't buy one candle. Don't know how well anything will be visible. There's a rattle and offerings. Back of the turtle. And what we'll do is we'll just. Sit with the fire for a few minutes here. Let's see how we do. There we are. Now I'm going to turn the camera around. You can just see me. Yeah, I guess you can see me by the fire least a little bit. So we've come down here. sitting, uh, I don't know, 10 inches from the edge of the fire or something like that. And, um, <clears throat> kind of facing the altar. You hear some wind chimes in the background. During the ceremony, or after the ceremony, we're talking about being friends with the unknown. And, uh, we're also talking about, uh, the idea of expectation. So I haven't really thought much about either, but uh, those were things that came up. So And I knew they were going to be the meditation tonight. Just 
feeling the heat on my face. So being friends with the unknown. <clears throat> it's a phrase that came up. Expectation. Both of them give me the sense of the not known, if not the unknowable. Expectation is this kind of thing that isn't purposefully planted, but when you have an intention and then you set yourself to embodying it, catalyzing it, the thing that you have the intention about, uh, sowing the seeds of expectation. And, you know, this fire, uh, we have people gathered around, you know, came here from, uh, you know, out of town, out of state, and so forth. And, and we finally got here and gathered around and invoked the eight directions and uh, chanted. And then we went to light the fire, which it took a day to build. And then the fire didn't seem to want to build uh, to light you know, for quite some time. <clears throat> you can kind of feel the people around the fire, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, wrestling with their expectations that they may not have known they had fostered. And so I'm going to just do a meditation where I'm directing myself towards the unknown without having any expectation of it or myself or my relationship to it. So that will be our meditation. And I think what I'll do is I'll let you watch the fire while we do it. I'm going to balance this up on the grandfather's. See the fire. There you go. One of the best bulls tripod effort to date. And I'm right here waving. And we're both sitting side by side facing the fire. And so while uh, Trying to uh, face the unknown. Uh, and remain mindful of the sowing of the seeds of expectation, whether purposeful or not. So my unknown can be a future moment, a future year. It could be a different place or a different mood. It could be another's mind.
of the themes of the ceremony today was <clears throat> pregnancy, and expecting. Imagine it'd be very difficult to stay in the moment and pregnant. Because we're also pregnant with potential and pregnant with our plans and thoughts. Not just with another being in the belly. So, uh, that was our little meditation on relating to an unknown without expectation. Well, maybe that's being a friend of the unknown. Hmm. I'll give you another look at the fire. That's the altar, you know, apparently above it in this view. That candle with the altar. And, uh, there's your fire. That's about as close as I can hold the camera there. So, thank you very, very much. Well, yeah, hope that nothing. <laughs>